said the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Ken Kutaragi and his team at Sony set out to invent a different future. They imagined a rich 3D experience fusing gaming, music, movies, communication. They imagined a platform that could power such a transformation. PlayStation hit the world with a force rarely seen. You go, girl. Developers embraced the platform with amazing ferocity, creating the world's richest, most immersive games. PlayStation 2 redefined computer entertainment with unparalleled power, speed, and graphics, converging movies, games, and music. PlayStation Portable, the next revolution. Suddenly, handhelds aren't just for kids, or just for games. From a minor market into a major cultural force, PlayStation continues to invent the future. Live in the future. Good afternoon and welcome to the annual Sony Computer Entertainment E3 press conference. And now, we're on the onset of a new decade for the PlayStation family of products, what we're calling the digital decade. So let's take a look at what that will look like. In 1994, we launched our first PlayStation capable of rendering real-time computer graphics. Technologies used in the original PlayStation might have been too advanced at that time for consumer products, but we challenged to integrate all of core technology into a small box. Six years after we released our first PlayStation, we tried to create the most powerful 128-bit microprocessor for computer entertainment applications called Emotion Engine. It opened up a new paradigm in computer entertainment. And now, we have developed the world's most powerful cell processor, which is going to be applied in our next generation system. Within the last 10 years, over 13,000 titles were released for the PlayStation and PlayStation 2 format by a number of publishers worldwide. These are very important asset for everyone. We are happy to announce that PlayStation 3 will have backward compatibility to enjoy these assets. In February at ISSCC, we announced our latest cell processor together with IBM and Toshiba. Because of its massive multi-core architecture, Cell is 35 times faster than the Emotion engine and twice the speed of the Xbox 360 processor. Future is almost here with PlayStation 3. Let me show you now and demonstrate for the first time our next generation GPU and give you a sense of what pixel shaders can do. This is Luna. She is a computer-generated person. What the PlayStation 3 is about is creating beautiful worlds that come alive. In addition, the programmable shaders are articulating her skin, the skeletal structure, and her mus muscles underneath in order to express the subtle emotions and rendering for the first time effects that have never been seen before, volumetric rendering of objects. This is a simple technology demonstration of what is the possibility of the PlayStation 3. Thank you. PlayStation 1 was introduced during the time of NTSC and TVs, 320 by 240 resolution. The PlayStation 2 was the first entry into digital displays and has a resolution of 720 by 486. The PlayStation 3 is going to bring two megapixels to real time. Having this level of resolution on your TV screen at home is going to be absolutely spectacular. 
We're going to show you the first real-time demonstration of a next-generation game console and a next-generation game. To help me do that is uh, Tim Sweeney, founder and chief technical officer of EBA Games. Tim, there, there is just absolutely no way that's real time. You're going to have to prove it to the audience. OK, now we'll run through the same demo um, and take over uh, controls so Josh can actually navigate through the environment and see what we have here. And here we have a 720p uh, high definition screen uh, being rendered with per pixel lighting and per pixel shadowing with shaders that are more than 200 times more complex than was possible in the previous generation. Wow. This amazing innovation will allow the user to experience the multiple channels of entertainment and the information at the same time from multiple sources. If you are fortunate enough to have two HD monitors, you can enjoy a panoramic view which creates a horizontally seamless image of 32 by 9 aspect ratio. So here's my duck, stunningly rendered in real time. Um, this is me driving it around. But he's still a little bit lonely. I think he still needs more friends. So let's uh, stick in a couple more here. And this gives you an example of the overwhelming performance of PlayStation 3 and everything uh, that uh, you can do. Some of them are so uh, happy to leave the, uh, the, the bath, they, they jump out. But I don't think that's enough ducks. I don't think you can ever have enough ducks. And for the technically minded amongst you, this demo uses LOD, which is lots of ducks. <laughs> ba boom Ah, it did work. What would I want to do with cups? Well, you can imagine. I would like to just dip the cup in and get some of the water right out of the... Isn't this in. incredibly cool? And to help demonstrate this, we turn to our friends at Sony Pictures Imageworks, the Oscar-winning special effects wizards from the movie Spider-Man 2. We asked them to borrow some of their precious computer graphic data that they had created for the movie, and we got the wonderful actor Alfred Molina's performance from Spider-Man 2 in computer graphics, and here, we run it in real time on PlayStation 3. I'm amazed at the response, uh, the, re the reaction here. The, the, uh, um, the quality of the image is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, the cell processor allows us to get that level of detail into our 3D computer graphics. London was the setting for Team Soho's epic crime thriller, The Getaway. And for the past three months, a team of six people has been working to show their vision of the future of that franchise on PlayStation 3. And they would like to share it with the world for the first time today. Now, this demonstration uses a lot of the real world rendering techniques that were, uh, we've seen in earlier demonstrations. And it's not just about graphics. We can see in this demo tremendous amount of detail in the 3D objects, which are beautifully rendered with amazing lighting and amazing detail. But the real purpose of this demo is to show how a city in a future video game would come to life with the complex simulation of traffic, the complex simulation of the way people move around, the way they make the city live and breathe, and how they have their own lives, hundreds of individual people on the scene at, at any one time. And I think this demo is a great example of what a next generation PlayStation 3 game is actually going to deliver in terms of immersion and richness and detail to the scene. No 
while playing in the streets. Yes, Mr. Spider-Man. See ya. No doubt about it, PlayStation 3 is a powerful machine under the hood. But what about the games? And uh, just to be clear, though, this is all running live in real time on RenderWare on the PS3. I direct this switch the focus of my speech to Square Enix's involvement in PS3 software development. Let me give you an example of a technical demonstration our dedicated team has put together. まあ、絵とサウンドは当然綺麗になってハリウッドの CG レベルのものがリアルタイムで動くというのはまずそのまま必ずなると思いますねそこからが僕らのやっぱり、えー、喜びとか腕の見せどころなんですけどもあの、まあ、プレイステーション3に向けてです、ね、今どこを考えているのは、えーまあ、見えない世界を、えー、見えないところに力を注ぐという、まあ、そういうことをまず考えているんですよ。まあ、送り手としてはそういうのを考えながら作るべきだと思いますしそういう作れる環境がようやく手に入るのかなというふうには思います。I think what we're most looking forward to、uh, creating in a PlayStation 3 game is a truly realized, truly immersive, living, breathing world. This is what we live for. You know, every Five or six years, this amazing company like Sony comes along and gives you this wonderful new piece of equipment that allows you to start unlocking your visions and unlocking the dreams that you've been having for however long. With Cell and with PlayStation 3, we feel very excited and very confident that we're going to be able to absolutely push the limits of what can be created. And the experiences that we can immerse our audience in. We really know that we're going to be able to go to the next level in terms of realistic simulations and realistic immersions combined with incredible narrative, incredible storytelling. And those two components combined are what are going to create the experiences of the future. And、uh, just to add to、uh, Mr. Kojima's comments, yes, Metal Gear Solid 4 will be coming to PlayStation 3.
next video is a small sampling of new games and future franchises being born on PlayStation 3. So let's take a look at those. Okay. You're ready? Yes, let's go. Where is he? Time is running out. Hurry! <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> hey, you too, mister. Hi. Hi! How's it going out there? Target in sight, all according to plan. So boring. Okay, let's switch to our plan. Roger. We'll go in, but keep an eye on us, okay?
hope you've enjoyed this monster machine and outstanding software showcase throughout the presentation. And now, I have the final and the biggest announcement. Everyone, this is PlayStation 3. at Sony Computer Entertainment would like to thank you very much for joining us today on the eve of E3 2005. As you can see, we have a lot of new exciting things in store for our collective future. Thank you and enjoy the show.